things. But the taste is very, um, you know, basically the same. And this one still has that Italian type blend to it. The last time I was able just to use my basil and bell pepper Italian blend, but I have run out of it, so I have to buy some more. This this little thing is expensive too. Um, it's like six bucks for this thing, but I mean it's worth it. Mm, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna let that simmer. Um, the only thing is, I know that it it's not really any salt. Like you can't really taste a lot of salt in here. So that's the only thing you would need to add to that. Um, the flavor is there, um, you know, with those two. Now, if you're going to make this using the basil and bell pepper, this is the only seasoning you'll, you'll need. I only had but a little bit, so that's why I added the other one, the uh, garlic and herbs Greek style blend. Um, now, you can use your own seasonings, of course, but if you're going to make it using this seasoning, this is the only one you'll need. Um, just to keep in mind, so don't think you have to add the other one. I just added some of the other one because I was almost out. So I'm going to let that simmer. And that is pretty much it. Um, I think you all saw my... You saw my spaghetti noodles. They're perfect and ready to go. You see they're not sticking together because we added the oil. So that would be it. So I'll come back and show the finished product in about, you know, in just a few moments. Okay, so I wanted to make a little bread to go with the spaghetti, which is done, by the way. So I'm going to cut. This is my French bread that I had. Actually, those that watched the video from uh, Saturday, yesterday, when I made the Philly cheesesteak, I had a little bread left over. So I'm just cutting these with my pear knife into little slices like this. We're just going to make some little uh, garlic cheese bites, garlic bread bites, rather. I don't think I'm going to do cheese with mine. And just to just give you an idea, I'll cut one more slice there since that's enough for that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray with my extra virgin olive oil. Just spray the bottom of the dish there. I got my butter here that I let sit out to soften. But on the bread bites, I'm going to take them. I have some minced garlic here. And I have some garlic salt as well as my butter. So first I'm gonna brush it with some butter. Just like that. So I'm gonna brush all of them like that with some butter. In case you can't see it. Get all of them brushed with butter. And I'm only brushing one side Okay, once I brush them with some butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little minced garlic. So, just like that. Just add some of that garlic on there. And I'm gonna do that to all of them. You're gonna be in for a treat if you like garlic. <laughs> But everybody don't like garlic, so if you don't like garlic, just do you some butter and leave the garlic out. <clears throat> don't feel like you gotta do garlic. Okay, now that I put the garlic on there, the minced garlic, I have my broiler on high heat, just so you know. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle each one with some of this garlic salt. So, they look like that. So I'm going to lay them there in the little dish here that we're going to go ahead and put in the oven. Again, I have my oven set, so if you can see those. If you want to add some cheese, you could if you want it. This will be a good time to put that on top. Um, if not, you can go ahead and put it in the broiler and set, just set the timer for about three minutes. I wouldn't leave them in there longer than that because with the broiler on high heat, you don't want to burn it. So when we come back next, we'll be plating our food. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the plate. Let's go ahead and get it focused there. There we go. All right, so I have my noodles here. I have my sauce, everything is ready and 
looking and smelling good. I left my bread in there for exactly three minutes, not a minute longer, not a second longer. So first I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these noodles and put it on the plate. And just a few things, if you make this, um, the main point of me showing this particular video was basically for the sauce. I wanted to try to get a lot of us out of the canned sauce, out of the uh, jar sauce and try the crushed tomatoes or you can make it with the fresh tomatoes. Of course, we didn't do a video for that, but it works really good with the crushed tomatoes. Now, if you try with the seasonings that I showed you, the, um, the basil, the, let me see what it is, the Italian blend, the basil and bell pepper Italian blend. If you, if you try this seasoning and you don't like it or you feel like something's missing, by all means, add your own seasoning. This is for my, you know, to my tasting. Um, but it is pretty good, but you may not like it. Now, one of the things that I also add sometimes to my spaghetti is a pack of this thick and zesty spaghetti sauce. You can find it in any brand or whatever, whatever your story is. But you know they have these little spaghetti sauce uh, mixes. I don't add the whole thing. Maybe about a, a three-fourth or a half, some somewhere between that. You don't need a whole lot of that. Sometimes it'll this will add something like some a sweetness kind of, and but at the same time not too much. It's not sweet sweet. So you can try that if you see that the blends don't uh, you know work out for you. Or of course you can make your own, add your own seasoning. I just wanna know how you all like it with the crushed tomato versus the can or the jar sauces. So we're gonna go ahead and add our meatballs. It's for the kids, so they only need a couple. And sometimes when I'm making them, I'll plate one or two of the kids' food. But since it's just one of the children, I'm not gonna do too much. They like to have the pretty plates. <laughs> now, if you want to mix your sauce together with your noodles, you can. I don't particularly do that because sometimes I have extra left over and I would like to um, be able to, you know, if I have, because sometimes you may have more sauce than you have noodles and you don't want to have, you know, two saucy noodles. Now, as far as my bread, I'm going to go ahead and add a few pieces of our garlic bread here however many you like, you know, because they're kind of small, so you want to add your little garlic bites. And then we're just going to add, I chopped up a little green onion, so I'm just going to add a little bit on the top. And that'll be pretty much that. And that's it. You know, um, nice size portion. One of the kids will be able to enjoy that. Um, they may not eat all the bread, but to each his own liking. But I hope you all enjoyed watching today. I know this may seem something, you know, kind of small to make like oh spaghetti but no you know sometimes spaghetti can be you know hard to make so for those that really didn't know how to make it or you were kind of just going wrong with your sauce try the crushed tomatoes by all means um let me know what you think add your own seasonings uh if you like whatever just let me know how you like just the crushed tomatoes and with that being said thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you have a wonderful blessed evening and i'll see you all soon